This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Congratulations on the win here today. 108 <laughs> points offensively. We'll start there. Uh, what did you see uh, from the game plan and execution from the offensive end today? Uh, the, our group's fun to watch. You know, 26 assists. They play for one another. You know, the hardest job I have is trying to equitably distribute the minutes because there's a lot of guys that can contribute. And, uh, and when we're right offensively, uh, we're tough because we, we can score at all three levels and have good shooters and really, really uh, unselfish guys. I, I thought Blake's presence in the post is uh, mirroring some uh, Scotty James-like uh, accuracy. So we, I think offensively we're, uh, we're trending upward. Richie, you've spoken uh, quite a bit about you want this team to value each possession. And you guys went over an 18-minute stretch today without committing a turnover, and you scored on 27 of 32 trips and extended a three-point lead to 36. And is that the type of play you want to see out of this team, valuing each possession, not turning it over, and getting quality looks each time down? Yeah, Dame, I'm going to get you something for Christmas that has to do with numbers. I, I don't know what it is yet, but uh, – Maybe one of those algebraic calculators or something like that. Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, we would like to see that. I think, again, when you combine uh, uh, an unselfish, intentional offensive possession with a uh, defensive possession where you're trying to limit what they do every day, I, I think you got a chance to, you know, to have some success. And our guys have really owned that. And it's their – Coach Seuss and uh, Coach Johnson are doing a great job in their kind of coordinator roles. But our, our guys deserve a lot of credit for their buy-in to what we're trying to accomplish. Coach, your uh, non-conference schedule gave you just a wide variety of, of ability levels and, and things like that. You come out of there uh, obviously unscathed. You get to play 11 games. Did you guys accomplish everything you wanted out of the non-conference schedule right on here on the heels of A-Sun play? Yeah, Naz, uh, excellent point. Uh, to come out 11 for 11 is is a win. Uh, again, this was piecemealed together. There were a couple of games that were already scheduled, but when we started losing game after game after game, uh, to get the schedule that we had, uh, yeah, I would have liked it to have more variance in terms of playing high majors, you know, different at different times or even some more mid-majors. But we took what we could get, and I think we developed a little bit of depth. And uh, I was, again, happy with our guys' improvement from week one till you know, December 22nd. Anthony? Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. I guess as we kind of look ahead to A-Sun play here, what's one thing you say that, that you would want to see this group improve on uh, before starting conference play in earnest next week? Uh, well, Anthony, we can always get better. We're, we're not a finished product by any means. And uh, I, I think what has been uh, a blessing in disguise is the depth that we've had has allowed us to not uh, play our starters or – heavy minute guys as much. And I think there's a development for those younger guys or inexperienced guys uh, that coincides with, you know, offloading some of your, your high minute guys. So uh, I, that variable may change when league play starts uh, because the games are obviously significant and you're positioning for seeding and trying to win a championship. Uh, but, uh, w you know, we, w we weren't really in many close games after the first five. So uh, I think that execution down the stretch will be something that we obviously pay a lot of attention to uh, when the break ends. Coach, you've got a 10-day layoff now before your next game. Uh, will the guys break up and go home for the holidays? Yeah, I, uh, my wife is one of the parents, so uh, I, I hear the importance of going home for Christmas, and, uh, and I agree. Um, so we, we wanted to give our guys a chance. Look, they've been here, some of them, since – uh, since mid-June, although we couldn't work out, and then we went home for August, for some of August, and then they, they've been testing on a regular basis. They, they've made a lot of sacrifices, so they deserve some time and fellowship with their families, and hopefully we'll continue to stay safe. And a shout-out to Aaron Schreiner and Chris Casola, uh, Ian McCall, Mickey Gritty. Our administration's done a fabulous job of keeping uh, our program uh, in, a, in a good spot. When's the last time one of your teams scored 100 points in a game? 
No idea.